Hello, in this Dart programming video, <coughs> Ooh, just needed to cough there. So yeah, in this Dart programming video, I'm going to show you how to create your own exceptions. So your own exception, it basically just throws a certain error message as a result when that exception, you know, is thrown. And obviously, you would manually throw that error yourself if you haven't had a look at the manually throwing your own. I mean, manually throwing an error exception video, I recommend that you check that out first. And using a manual exception, I mean custom ex exceptions, you need to create a class. I'm not gonna go into classes too much in this video. There's a separate part of this series that covers classes and everything that you need to know. So if you wanna know more about classes or you're unsure, feel free to check out that part before you watch this video. Okay, so what you need to do outside of the main is create a class and we can call this some sort of exception. I'm gonna call this epic exception so it's always good as just a general rule of thumb to have exception at the end of the name so when you're flicking through the coding see okay that's an exception yeah and you know when you see the class as well so you don't use something else you need to do implement so this will basically use the built-in exception class this is how it gets the exception functionality for curly braces we are going to use a string er msg so this is what's going to be triggered and we are using the lambda or the arrow operator and we are going to say uh, epic exception obviously what you say will probably be a bit more contextual than that do not want to save it and instead if we were to throw epic exception and run that instead Ooh. Error line three. There is no semicolon. Oh, I forgot about the semicolon. Hence the crash. That's funny again. We get instance of epic exception. So epic exception has been thrown. So just bear that in mind. They need semicolons. <laughs> oh, that's just basic coding, and I just made a little mistake. Apart from that, we're all good to go. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.